Today part of Patch Tuesday update Microsoft released new security update for Windows 10 version 22H2 and 21H1. While the package doesn't bring any new features, it comes with important security updates, so users should consider installing it as soon as possible. To download and install the update open settings using Windows key plus I go to update and security then Windows update. Hit check for updates. This will start download the latest Windows updates, it may take some time depending on your internet connection speed and hardware configuration. Also you can visit official Microsoft Update Catalog to download the offline installer to complete the installation manually or another computer. Here you need to search the latest KB number. Download the Windows Update offline installer according to your system configuration, such as form me its 64-bit device and will download the installer according to it. Once download complete, locate the installer and double-click on it to run the installer. Now let's look at what's new on today's update. According to Microsoft this update addresses security issues for your Windows operating system, and also address Windows 11 upgrade error. Added into security patch, today's update also include bug fixes released on last month, that include a richer weather experience to the lock screen, introducing dynamic and interactive weather updates. Tapping or clicking on the weather card will seamlessly open Microsoft Edge with a comprehensive forecast provided by MSN Weather. Well, if you already use weather in settings personalization lock screen lock screen status, there is nothing for you to do. Well this new experience will be on by default if lock screen status is set to none. This enhancement aims to provide users with more immediate access to weather information without the need to unlock their device. Furthermore, this update addresses a specific issue related to printers. Previously, some single-function printers were being incorrectly installed as scanners, causing confusion and potential functionality issues. With this update, the problem has been resolved, ensuring that printers are correctly identified and installed according to their intended function. This update also adds Digital Markets Act DMA, compliance in the European Economic Area EA, to allow European users to uninstall all apps in Windows by March 6. Moreover, the update addresses a recurring problem with Internet Explorer shortcuts. Specifically, after using a policy to remove an Internet Explorer shortcut, users may have found that the shortcut reappeared unexpectedly. This issue has been rectified, ensuring that policy changes regarding shortcuts are properly implemented and maintained. In addition to these improvements, the update also tackles issues affecting remote desktop sessions. Previously, users may have experienced difficulties reconnecting to existing remote desktop sessions. This bug has been addressed, allowing for smoother and more reliable remote access to desktops. Also several other fixes and enhancements are included in this update. These range from resolving caching issues in Windows management instrumentation to addressing problems with BitLocker encryption and MSIX applications. Additionally, improvements have been made to group policy folder redirection and active directory functionality to enhance overall system stability and usability. Overall, this update aims to enhance the user experience by addressing various issues and introducing new features, ultimately ensuring a smoother and more efficient operation of Windows systems. Also there's some known issues present there, including issues for Windows users with more than one monitor experiencing unexpected desktop icon movements or alignment problems when using Copilot in Windows, in preview. Additionally, Copilot in Windows, in preview, is not currently supported with a vertically positioned taskbar on the right or left side. Overall this update is all about making Windows 10 work better and more secure. Let the Windows update download, it may take some time depending on your internet connection and hardware configuration speed. Once the update download and install complete, you need reboot your computer to apply the changes. After that you can run winver command to check the new build number.